vocal, and that's good to identify. Um, okay, so, um, suggest um, what she wrote. It's, she said more of if they even care to listen to what you have to say. That's another thing, too. A lot of people was like, no, I'm not going to say anything because nobody cares. But it's just like it goes back into the you already had the negative thought and you didn't believe that. you going to stand. You standing on business with that. And that's how you feel. But until you like either come into contact with somebody who really would listen, you think that everybody would be like that. And then, because some people just want the I'm fine response and very few people actually want to hear you. Man, I, I remember one time I went to work and somebody was like, how you doing? And I was like, I'm horrible. And I was. Like, I, like, I had, I hate depending on people. So I had situations going on in my car. Like, like, thank God I made it to work or whatever. But I was like, but I'm not doing good. And I was like, some people don't want you. They just like, okay, like, I didn't sign up for all this. Like, just say I'm fine and move along. But it's just like. Every now and then, I feel like we want that one person that's just going to be like, okay, this is a safe space, no judgment, let me know how you feeling. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Monday, it is February 5th, and it is time for another weekly vlog. We going to Atlanta in two days, y'all. I'm so glad that um, the trip is taking place during this week so that y'all won't see anything going on this trip till I post the vlog. Last time I went away, like, I think it was like Friday to Monday or something like that. So y'all got to see a little bit of the um, trip. But this time, the whole trip going to be in this vlog. So if I don't vlog today or tomorrow, you know why. But um, honestly, really, I'm just trying to, like, clean, organize, pack, get my mind right. And today, or yesterday before I went to sleep, Amazon just came and snatched my last little piece of change. Like, I'm the type of person, like, um, I've been doing okay financially. I've said I could be doing better. I could be doing worse. And I like to keep just a certain amount in my account in case of emergencies. I thought my Amazon Prime membership was due at the end of the month, but it was actually due at the beginning of the month. And they was like, yoink. So, I moved some stuff around. I do get paid Friday, so... But then I leave on Wednesday, but I do have some side cash that I put away for my last trip, like like recycling cash so that I can have something on hand. But you know, credit cards gonna always be swipe, swipe, swiping. Um, and the lovely ladies that I'm going with, I think we've worked out a little system. Um, I think that um we're gonna be able to like work with each other where we're not gonna even have to really spend that much money which is a good thing for me and that's why i always do group trips people be like oh you traveling alone heck you know best believe if i go somewhere i'm either like meeting somebody in that city i'm going to i may get on a plane alone but i ain't going nowhere by myself okay maybe who knows just not yet i don't i don't trust it like i'm a female um, you know, you gotta be extra cautious, like, even when you're traveling in groups, but you gotta be extra cautious traveling with people, traveling by yourself, so, there's that, but I want to pop in, open up the vlog, so, my dilemma, y'all, I think my hair looks fine, like, probably just, like, straightening it, because I really haven't straightened, straightened it since I got it done, my leave out is still doing the job or whatever, I was, like, debating, like, because I really wanted to get braids, but I work today and tomorrow, um, we'll be gone Wednesday through Saturday morning, and I was like, unless I find somebody randomly in Atlanta that know how to do hair, but I heard they be charging an arm and a leg in Atlanta, so I'm not betting on that. Thought about if I wanted to get my nails done, if I wanted to do my toes, like, it's a lot of decisions. I do got some polish on my toes that I'm definitely going to take off, so if I don't make it to get a pedicure, which I probably won't, I'm definitely going to take the polish off my toes. I need to go to my P.O. box, and I need to go to the library. I don't know if I'm going to do that today. Or I'm going to do that tomorrow. But tomorrow is definitely going to be a batching content day. Like, I'm going to record all the videos that I want to post for the next couple of days. Because when I'm on vacation, I don't like to post while I'm there. Or in the sense, like, say for instance, I'm going to be on Wednesday through Saturday. So, I'll probably start posting Thursday or Friday my videos from Wednesday. So, it look like I'm, like, a day behind. So by the time I'll get home, I still have a lot of stuff to post. And people are like, oh, I didn't know you were back home. Yeah, because don't be watching me. Don't be watching what I'm doing. Um, but on the flip side, I, I don't know what happened to it, but my PayPal card came in the mail. So 
if you want to be a doll, you ain't going to see this. I was if you want to slide me some money on PayPal or Cash App, um, <laughs> I got my PayPal card because I am supposed to be getting paid from TikTok on Wednesday. So maybe I use that for a couple of meals or whatever. But I ain't going to hold y'all too long because y'all know I can talk. Yeah. And I want to um, try to delete some videos and make sure that I got enough to record for this vlog. Um, but... I didn't do the end. I didn't do like if you like this video. So here we go. Welcome back to another video. Sugar Diamonds and Nation, aka DD, and this is my YouTube channel, DD says so. And I am back with another video. So if you like this video, as you're watching, make sure you give a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I love y'all so much, and I hope you enjoy. See you later. Bye. Hey y'all, what's up? It is Tuesday, February 6th, and I just got done doing some batching content. I just recorded my procrastination video, so go ahead and check it out because it's already going to be posted before this vlog is posted. I did a review for um, Too Late, which I'm probably going to put in my shorts, and it's also going to be on TikTok and Instagram. And then I'm just like getting ready. My mom ordered some Chinese food, so I'm getting ready to go eat. I'm like... 85% done packing, so I'm going to go finish packing. My flight leaves tomorrow at 7 a.m., so I'm excited. Still trying to find a ride, <laughs> or I may be Ubering. I need, like, a designated, like, airport <laughs> dropper offer. And it's funny because I don't want to pick nobody up from the airport, but I be wanting somebody to pick me up, and I be wanting somebody to drop me off. But my mom going to pick me up on Saturday when we come back. Um, I do work today. Um, I'm reading this book called American... Royalty, which is the book for our book club for Trees and Vines. We're supposed to be meeting next week on Thursday, but I didn't want to wait too late to read the book. I was like, let me hurry up and read the book because I'll I be having these book club books that I've been needing to read and I'll be taking my time. So after that, I'll be reading Feeding the Soul by Tabitha Brown. I used to write the books that I read in the description box. I'm going to bring that back, like any books that I read. I'm officially done with book 10 out of 56. I'll probably take my goal up. Um, I just wanted to leave it low in case I wasn't really in the mood to read it. I didn't want to set it for 100 and not reach it. Like, I'm all about setting realistic goals. But I'm so excited. Um, just wanted to pop in and say, hey, I'm finna go upstairs. Hopefully the food is here. When I go upstairs, I'll eat a little bit, get ready for work. And um, I'm going to try to vlog daily, which is going to be new for me. So we're going to see how that go. But the next time you'll see me, or the next time I record, is probably when I be at the airport. So I'll see y'all soon. So I just got my new books from the library. We got "I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter" by Erica L. Sanchez. We got "Tap of the Brown." I did a new thing: thirty days of free living. "American Royalty" by Tracy L Livesay. Or Live Say, which is the book club book for Trees and Vines. And then we also got Rebecca, not Becky. Okay, y'all. So, vulnerable moment. Um, headed home. And I just wanted to... Because, like, YouTube be, like, my... Like, um... Like, my diary or my journal or something. And I had some stuff on my mind and I just wanted to share it. And, like, I just want to record moments because I know that it helps me. And it may potentially help somebody else. And I'm going to try not to cry. But I'm reading Feeding My Soul because it's my business by Tabitha Brown. And when I tell you, after reading the first chapter, I was freaking bawling. Because... I know there's some things that I'm supposed to be doing, right? And I'm beating myself down about, like, dance and, like, how it's really, really important to me. But it's the one thing that I always put on the back burner, right? And I always get so much compliments, like, you're a really good dancer. And I was just, like, growing up, I really wanted to do that. And I allowed, like, um, family, I allowed, like, societal pressures, like, age, weight, allow me to not do it and it's just like it keeps coming back up it won't go anywhere and i just want to be open to being able to do it but all of the fears that i deal with is still there it won't go away and i do like the little tiktoks and stuff like that 
and she talked a lot about like dreams I used to be so negative about my dreams I would say like I'm not going to get this I'm not going to be able to do this because it's not in the cards for me it's not going to happen for me I'm never going to get married and it, it sucks because as a believer in God you never want to think that you're not going to be able to accomplish your dreams right I'm sorry but like it hit me so hard it hit me like a ton of bricks I really hope that I can finish this book because a lot of people were saying that it really helped them and I feel like she's like speaking into my soul when a lot of the things that she's talking about and she's sharing and I really do hope that I get the courage to like go after my dreams and not because like for so long I blame other people but then, like, I started blaming myself, like, you're the reason why you can't do this, you're the reason why you can't do that, because I just didn't believe that it was supposed to happen for me. Man, I don't know, y'all, if y'all ever felt like you were supposed to be doing something and you've been running away from it or you haven't been doing it, please let me know in the comments how you feel about that, because I just need, I know I'm not alone, I tell you a guy stuff all the time, like, you're not alone, like, there's someone else dealing with you. But I wanted to have this vulnerable, candid moment because it just was in me to release it. Um, I hope that it helps me to get past this. Like, I haven't cried this much over a book or, like, over something, that, like, over my life in a long time. And it's just, like, it's overwhelming. It's really overwhelming me. But, yeah... Insomnia cookies. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. Why is that so low? At the, oh, because I'm going up there. Why is that so low? It's good because it's not so good. I would get on a regular occasion. The slutty season. Let's what the music. season sound like. Like, I mean, it tastes like, like, oh, babe. No, they didn't. Okay, so we tried to go to Dwight's class and we could not find it. So we just got dressed. Um, we're going to go to McCormick and Schmidt for dinner. And yeah, I'll do the room tour later. But, like, let's see if we can do the view. Downtown Atlanta, the Centennial Park, Waffle House over there in the corner, in the cut, and McCormick Smith is right there. Reservations for 8:15, and it is currently, I think it's 8:05. We need to come home. We need to come home.
day two in Atlanta so we got here yesterday around 12 on Wednesday and you've seen everything we did we went to slutty vegan we did go to Walmart I didn't record there because my phone was dying so this vlog may be like in and out just because um I don't have a portable charger it just turns out that my portable charger just got delivered yesterday after I was already gone yay me um so we were kind of playing it by ear with some of the stuff that we wanted to do. We tried to go to Dwight's class, and we could not find that mud. Like, and it was, like, dark, and we was walking trying to find a place. So I was a little sad about that, but we are very adaptive, and we went out to dinner at McCormick, which was actually pretty decent. It was, like, a five-minute walk from where we are, like, a two-minute walk from where we are. Um, so today's plans, we're going to go to Atlanta Breakfast Club. I know Keith Lee did a review on them. Um, I went there last year and I really liked it and Erica didn't get a chance to go so I'm hoping she'll be um, she'll enjoy it this time and I hope I'll enjoy it again. Um, I know I want to get the peach cobbler um, waffles, chicken and waffles I think it was last time. It was really good so I'm going to get it again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, and then we're going to an escape room that was on Erica's list. Um, Pond City Market has Umbrella Bar in it. That's where we got the 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 mozzarella dogs or whatever so i don't know if we're gonna go to the umbrella bar today depends on how hungry we are because like literally the the corn dog is like a snack to me and i know we're going to bbs lounge later but we're probably gonna call because last time we just went and we were able to get seated but you know certain places in atlanta you have to like book reservations so we're gonna check into that and it's thursday so i feel like they weekend start on thursday um into the weekend so we are excited for what today is going to bring. I'll take you along to whatever I can show you, and I hope you enjoy the vlog. See you later. Leave me, baby. Don't want to fall again. This just hurt me. Just think about it. Think about it. To hold me Like you don't want to break I need some space Just think about it Think about it Maybe separate is better Better I will love it too Forever, forever To do a room tour so you know we already lived in but like this carpet come through and then they got this little little picture um tv of course with the boss surround sound little chair table this lets out into a queen sleeper sofa lamp i was so excited about the foosball table okay and then like we got another little table with a couple of chairs like if you want to get a cup of coffee and look at this view oh holy moly donut shop and then like our little kitchen area so um the 
I don't even know what you want to call this, but it seats five and has a little marble countertop, what have you. Dishwasher, coffee maker, glasses, wine glasses, um, stove, nice set, fridge. So let's open some of these drawers. Um, blender over here. So we got the bowls if you want to bake something. Um, utensils. More utensils. More utensils. Like all the utensils you could ever need. The garbage cans under there. Y'all need to see that. Just some space. Um, I haven't checked these. Oh, we got some coffee cups. So I'm probably going to make coffee tomorrow. Um, more bowls and plates. You know what I'm not seeing? A microwave. Maybe it's behind one of these doors. So this is just space. And there we have it. We got some cups over there. Got an ice maker. There is an ice maker on this floor. Uh, microwave. We got a toaster that looks like a coriander. A bowl if you want to do some popcorn. Oh, that's a glass bowl. I don't, I don't like touching glass. So we got um, freezer, and then we have we got a little little drip, little soda um, to last us throughout the few days we're here. Ice machine and ice maker with the water. Ice machine and ice maker. It's the same thing, child. Um, obviously, broom, dustpan. You can clean while you're here. Some more space. Then over here, child, we got a whole washer and dryer. Okay. Lovely picture. Um, first bathroom, full length mirror. She's in there, I believe. And this is my bed. My bed, my bed. Y'all ever see that movie? What was the movie with Taraji P. Henson when he fixed it up and the little boy was like, my bed. We got his and hers sink, but it's just the hers. Um, mirror right here. There's an, also like a vanity mirror. Cute. Another mirror. And then this shower, y'all. So it has this shower head, um, top shower head. And one that you can self-use. And all of the like amenities are in bottles. You know how normally they give the little bottles you can take with you? Nah, there's like stationary. So we got body wash, conditioner, shampoo. Then over here we have hand soap and body soap. And then just the toilet is um in a separate. So you can have a little privacy if needed. And yeah, y'all. As always, um, a TV dresser in the closet over there. Going down. Yeah, that's why you're only supposed to have one. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I can do. Um, so. What is it, man? Where's the one? They brought that up. Can you see the one? You say, can you see it? Okay. It makes yeah. no sense. It makes no sense.
<laughs> it's given. <laughs> the hanging was there. It's better than yesterday. Whatever the heck that was. Well, I have to have a new phone. I think I have not had it. Oh me, I want you I love the most and let's be Cause you're a good girl you know it You act so different around me something that's not going to matter when, yep and i think that's what because i was talking to somebody about like our relationship with money so if you grew up and your parents were like barely making it because there's a lot of people grew up poor and they didn't know they grew up poor mm -hmm. like because they didn't like have to worry for anything but like if you grow up thinking that all rich people are like wicked and mm -hmm. evil and they're just doing bad things that's going to have you have a negative relationship with money mm -hmm. you're like oh i don't want to have money like that if that's yeah. going to make me evil but i'm liking the fact that it like people are getting a better relationship with money because obviously like we don't want to be living paycheck to paycheck mm -hmm. we don't want to like when I tell people about the vacations I take and stuff, they were like, oh, I wish I could do that. And I was like, you have to plan for it. It wasn't like I just woke up and was like, let me take three trips back to back. It was like I've been like working with my finances. I've been saving. I've been putting stuff aside. And I think um, that's where I want to delve more into. It's like especially like lives and stuff like that, like teaching people how to budget, how to like be more in control of your finances for things that you want. Because people want things, but then they don't plan to try to get them. Like you ain't going to never get them. 
and that's the thing. That's what that's what the world teaches. The world doesn't teach you how to manage manage your money and manage what God mm -hmm. actually gives you. They teach you you just need to go out there and get it, mm -hmm. and then by any means necessary. When in the end, it's not even going to matter. Like so it's what you do, and it's how stuff. it's it's about what you do with it and how you treat people in the process of getting it, mm -hmm. and you know having you know what you need. Um, whenever I think of my um, relationship with money, and when I think of money, I always just ask God to provide me with whatever I need. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want you know a, a big influx of something because. Money brings out the worst in people. Yeah. And I don't need nothing to bring out the worst in me than what I already have. Well, I heard that money just, <clears throat> like, money, when they say, like, oh, you change, you change. Like, no, you just are able to be the person you yeah. are. Like, they talk about, like, the guys, like, when they, um, like, why do when guys come into money, they start dating a specific type of woman? Because when they was broke, that specific type of woman wouldn't get them the time, time of day. Like, you are in a different position, so you can go towards that. But I'd be thinking about that too. It's people like I want to win the lottery, but like it's a, probably a reason why you ain't got this mm -hmm. much money right now because there's like people who get money and they try to help people, and there's get people that try to help themselves. They only try to pay to help themselves buying three, four cars and stuff like that. And I've never been the type of person to tell people what to do with their mm -hmm. money because you see, like if I have a one year old birthday party, we at home with a cake. Cardi B have a one year birthday party, they probably rent out Disney mm -hmm. World. It's two different things, yeah. like so. I don't know. Money. So money problems, mm. and at the mm. end, what does what women money really do? I mean, we all know we all need it. Um, it deserves a purpose, but I hate when people we like the love for the love of money is the um, mm. the love of money is the root of all evil. And it was like, no, what's the scripture? It's the love. Um, not the, no, they was, no, they were saying money, money is, is the root of all evil. No, it's the like love. the love of money, money. like the, when you're getting obsessed with it, like anything that you make little gods. And anything could become a little guy. Your car could become mm -hmm. a little guy. Your oh. phone could become a little guy. And it's just like putting certain things before him. Mm -hmm. Like she sees that. Like, do you not know? So. I like how you put about when you, how we are teaching or what we brought up to raise. Mm -hmm. I saw a thing about a teacher. I don't know if she used her own money or her own experiences, but um, she had her class do a dining experience. Okay. And why not do that in school? Why are we tested, standardized? How much, how much can you remember this? Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, what is that? Really? That's not teaching social skills. Yeah, if we want a person to be a productive adult, mm -hmm. we're not teaching them how to do that. How to balance a checkbook. Oh, stop that early, yeah. Someone said school teaches us how to be like a good employee, a good exactly. employee or something like that. Mm -hmm. And like, I believe it's a place for everybody. We need somebody flipping the burgers at Burger King. We need somebody doing the CEO, what's, what you, what have you. I never really wanted to be an entrepreneur. Like, and then like, I think that's everybody thing now. Like start some mm -hmm. t-shirts, lip gloss, do something, to, yeah. do something. And I'm just like, no, nah, I'm good with my little nine to five. Mm -hmm. Like I may do something on the side, but like, I've always felt like, and like even like in leadership positions, like even when I was doing, I think I'm naturally a leader and I don't try to be like, I want to be in the background. They was like, but I remember I was in a group and everyone's sitting around. They was like, oh, you'll pick a captain or whatever. And everyone's like, you do it. I'm like, I just want to be here. And I just want to sit in the background. And I just want to watch or whatever. And I was like, I'm trying to get away from, like, pushing that down because it's just that I don't want to be in the front. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, if you have those qualities, people look at you and be like, well, you're a good leader. I was like, that's because I'm a good follower. That's how I am. I don't, I...
And then, like with Maya Jamboree, I just call that little boy everything Jamboree. <laughs> she was like, his name is Jabari. She having a whole friendship, like so technically she didn't do nothing. But then they get the, they got divorced though, yeah. right? Then they got back together. I saw a few episodes. Darnell was done. Did he, did he was he like, didn't cheat on her? no, she didn't cheat. Like she yeah, didn't yeah. sleep with him. Oh, I don't know. I feel like she, he went out on a date with somebody. I don't think yeah i don't think so that's probably like when they were separated yeah um but like she was having a whole doting relationship and that that made me think about like why did i get married with homegirl she was like she didn't sleep with him but she started like wearing her hair a different wear away uh, wearing yeah. perfume the one that was the lawyer right yeah that one that was married <laughs> to tyler perry character okay, man so. mike was unleashing it. he was like tell her uh, tell him how you got your tubes tied. Ooh. He was like, sorry, you ain't no room. You ain't gonna get no little man. I was like, oh, man. Oh, no. That's crazy to do something like that. So, am I going to the room first, or are we going to... Oh, we still going to that? We can go to the room. I've been with my dad for like seven years. Going, the door. Uh, I've been with my dad for like seven years. Going, the door. I've been with my dad for like seven years. I've been with my dad for like seven years. I've been with my dad for like seven years. I've been with my dad for like seven years. sleep wake up spend the rest of the day editing so when i edit i'm going to see what i missed and then i'll come back later on tonight and close out the vlog with the last final thoughts of the trip or whatever we did yesterday which was friday night and i hope you enjoyed the vlog so far i've had a lot of fun a plethora of fun i'm ready to go home i'm ready to go back to work though um but i will reconvene with you later